Hey there, it's Vashti Sarah. Welcome back to Post Blog. If this is your first time listening, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like button, follow button, share button, all the buttons to stay connected with the Post Blog podcast. And for those of you who this is not your first time, welcome back. Hey y'all, so today I have the pleasure of chatting with a friend of mine, Lily. We went to SAGU together, but more than that, she has been doing some crazy world-changing things. She's a woman boss. And recently when I launched my books and the Mother's Day special, I asked her, you know, if she'd partner with me and um, just help me with some of the jewelry line that she does. And she'll get in a little bit more about why she's a woman boss, but she has a phenomenal heart, phenomenal heart for people and a drive for a mission. So Lily, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let the people know a little bit about who you are, and then we'll go into questions um, that I hope um, and pray will motivate someone to do big things and just believe that God has great things for them. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Vashti, um, for the platform as well. Um, I am Lily. I married uh, my husband, Christian. We both went to Sagu and met at Sagu, actually. Um, and we have a two-year-old named Scarlet Love. Um, she is our world right now. Uh, we're in her world right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's been fun. It's been a fun journey. Um, but we are global workers to Eurasia. Um, and so that's currently what we are in, in full force going now in less than two months, we move overseas again. But while I was overseas, I started making earrings. And so, um, once I came back, I continued making them and that's the business that I have now. Uh, making handmade um, jewelry. Okie dokie. And so what's your business name and what's your why? My Our business name is Light Clay Co. And it's based off the verse Light Clay in the Hands of the Potter mm. in Jeremiah. Um, and so that's our business name, Light Clay Co. And our why um, is women. So we mm. focus on jewelry, but women, my why is women that don't... Um, always feel confident don't always or like I'd like to say confident. oh um, I like that sometimes we you know even though we know we're special in God's eyes but you know we're still in this journey to feel completely confident in ourselves mm -hmm. and in God so um, that's my why yeah and I will even uh, jump on that too I've followed Lily's page like Clayco and every part of her content is about encouraging women and about, you know, hey, your identity is more than your mistakes. Hey, your identity is more than what you feel. You know, there's something deeper or there's something more within. So Lily does a phenomenal job on her platform, her Instagram post. And yes, she's pushing out content for her earrings and her jewelry line, but there's also a mission behind it. Hey, girl, you're beautiful. Hey, girl, be confident. Hey, girl, you're worth it. So I honestly love that. It's more than just a business. It's a, there's a mission behind it. And you see that. I at least see that in the content that you push out. But so what are the mistakes have you made along the way? Mistakes I've made along the way. Um, I think the biggest one that I could think of is Again, I think we all go through this, but comparison, um, just and not just as, um, you know, my products, stuff like that, but like mm -hmm. as a business owner, just comparison, comparing um, myself and really like letting myself be overwhelmed with everyone else's, you know, yeah. uh, business <laughs> and content and mm -hmm. all that. Um, yeah, you know, for a moment, I just thought, especially when I was, you know, going through postpartum changes and things like that. Like it was really getting me that everyone else I just felt was so ahead of me, you know? Wow. And I think one of the biggest mistakes was like allowing everybody else's success or, you know, their outcomes and their viral videos and things like that to really Dang. trigger me. And, you know, I had to yeah. come to a place where I'm like, God, this is not right. <laughs> you know, with them is for them. And I want my own portion, you yeah. know? So I think that was the biggest mistake. And it was, it was, and it wasn't a week. It wasn't two weeks. It was a time, a yeah. season. <laughs> wow. In that, in, in talking about hard things, what's the hardest business decision have you had to make? Ooh, you know, in that season, I think, um, I really thought I was just going to close down. Like, 
Wow. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna post, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm I'm just I think I'm done. You know, like in my in you know, Scarlett was newly born and yeah. I was like, I should probably just focus on her. Like, you know, and I've been working from home mm-hmm. since then. Scarlett's with me twenty four seven. It's not like she's in daycare, like we're here but you know, home <laughs> and I'm working. Yeah. Um, so I just felt like I I couldn't, I'm just gonna just drop it. And you know, I had talked to my husband, I'm like, I don't I don't really think I should continue. And he's like, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Look at the people you do. Look at your circle that yep. you do to have. Look at the tribe that you do that you're messaging with. And they're telling you, you know, how they feel and what, you know, just a little thing like putting earrings on that you've prayed over mm-hmm. how they help them. Yeah. You know, and so I think that was the hardest business decision for myself because I had to get out of my own rut. Yeah. You know, um, but again, I had to remember my why. And I think my why is what sustained me and has kept me till now. Wow. Okay, so now what would be the biggest advice or the best advice you can give someone who has a desire to be an entrepreneur, who has a desire to just go out there and just do that thing, shut the noise out and not worry about whatever what everyone else has to say or the fact that someone else is already doing it, just what would you tell that person? They're on the brink of going after it, but they just don't have that oomph just yet. What would you tell them? I think what I would tell them um, is do it, right? I'm mm-hmm. like, go ahead and do it. But um, knowing that what you have and what you offer isn't for everyone, and yeah. that's okay. Wow. Because it's for someone, and yep. that's who you're, you know, that your target audience, that's who you're going for. Yeah. Um, and so I think we make the mistakes a lot of times thinking it's going to be for everyone. It's for, you know, everyone, every age, or like, yeah. no, it's, it might not be for everyone, but don't let that get to you yep. because it is for someone. Wow. Dang. That's good. That's really good. And I even see that with myself, you know, just writing books for children. It's not for everyone. Not every parent will will want the book, especially if it's Christian based. Not everyone will want it, but it's for one and that one matters. And, you know, I tell my husband all the time whenever I get discouraged, he'll he, he asks me, he's like, Vashti, what's your why? And I remember it was mm-hmm. never it was never about me. It was in the beginning. It was never, ever about me. It was a desire God placed on my heart. And that desire wasn't me. It's for that someone. But yeah, yeah, that's awesome, Lily. Well, it was a pleasure speaking to you. And thank you for being a part of the podcast and talking about women bosses, your why. And hopefully someone's motivated. Someone is encouraged to just do it. Yes. Thank you so much, Vashti. Absolutely. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me on Post Blog. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, follow button, share button, all the buttons to stay connected on the Post Blog podcast. Same time, same place next week. I love y'all. But remember, God loves you most.